Well, hello everyone. My name is Rick Pasek, fly fish fanatic, and welcome to my tying bench. Uh, today we'll be tying another little buzzer pattern. Um, this is uh, uh, one I've been using uh, on and off for probably, well, actually not in this exact style, probably only the last couple of years. Um, but I've tied it as a uh, beadhead version for close to 20. Um, but this is a non-beadhead. This is more of a traditional buzzer style. Um, and uh, yeah, I've been doing probably about two to three years. So, all right, <clears throat> let us switch over. So in the uh, device today, we have a Hens BL554, size 12. Going to be using some Zemperfly Nano Silk. Uh, I'm going to be using some Zemperfly uh, Mirror Tinsel in the Anti Gold. And that is it. Um, oh, no, sorry. And then I'll be using a little bit of uh, um, Zemperfly uh, um, bright orange uh, goose biots for the uh, the wing case or the hot spot. So you can just get your, get your thread started. Come up about halfway. <clears throat> Getting close to dinner time. My belly's telling me, hey, what you doing, man? I'm just gonna get a nice little flat base layer down and I'm gonna come back quite a ways on this tur turn here probably to about there and then I'll stop flatten my thread and then I'll come back up being careful on that hook tip obviously flatten my thread I want to keep as low a profile as you can on these these buzzers, chronomids, anything like that, right? So so now I'm gonna take a piece of this mirror tinsel and this stuff, guys, you've seen me use it before and I say it every time. It's absolutely wonderful. I love the color of it. I love the sheen you get from it. I love just a lot, so much about it, but it is extremely, extremely, extremely brittle. You have to take your time. You can't be forcing and you got to be careful, especially when you start wrapping, that it doesn't get uh, it doesn't get caught on the, uh, the hook tip, right? So go back just a couple more turns past where I stopped before. Flatten my thread. Back up to about there, flatten my thread. I just want to make sure there's a nice smooth body, especially from this point on here. Stop about there. Then carefully, the first few wraps especially, around by close to that hook tip. I just want to get a cup. I want a couple, two, three turns right at the butt. I want to create a little bit of an orange butt on this one. And then I'm going to open up. And I'm going to open up. Nice, as evenly spaced as you can. And you want to be tight. I mean, you can hear it that I'm pulling tight, but don't pull too tight because, like I said, um, this stuff will break quite easily. And it's it's it does stretch too. And then it when it stretches, it gets a, it takes the color away, if you want to call it that. So that's it. <clears throat> nipper, nipper. Just a really nice, simple little uh, ribbing. Then I'm gonna just hold on. I got my caught my bob in here. Okay, and then I'm gonna come back up, and I'm gonna just go back. Gonna cover that last rat, that last uh, <clears throat> rib, and I'm gonna take two pieces of the goose bite. You can see I've been butchering this one because I've been tying a lot with goose biots in them. So I've got to find a couple of decent biots. But no. Uh, there we go. There. So now you can use um, biots, you can use uh, um, whatever you want. UV cheeky, there's, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff you can use for this. I find the biots are my favorite. But um, I'm just cut off the very tip tip and then I'm going to actually turn this to the side here and I want to tie this in on the bottom. I'm going to catch that in right on the bottom side kind of 
give it a little bit of a pull. I'm going to do the same with the other one from your side. <clears throat> and I just cut that tip off. And the only reason I cut that tip off um, is because, first of all, I want a little bit thicker um, piece. But it's also, it's, it's quite on the brittle side, right? The tip. So I'll just see how's that looking. It's not too, too bad. Let me see if I can pull that back just a touch. There we go. So now I'm just gonna make sure they're tied down, flatten my thread, and I'm just gonna create my little baseball shaped head, uh, a football shaped head, sorry. Baseball, <laughs> wrong sport. Um, doesn't have to be too large. I mean, it depends on what you're going for. You can make this head as large as you want, but uh, doesn't have to be too huge. Kind of taking my time on this one, but that's okay. I just have to swing my uh, magnifying glass over to see what the heck's going on. I'm uh, getting more blind in my old age here. Alrighty. Flatten my thread. Now, some of these that I've tied, um, I don't know if I can show you or not. It might be difficult to see. Yeah, it's kind of difficult to see, but on the top, you see that's got. I've got. I actually put a piece of mirror tinsel this way on it. Um, sometimes I use a piece of silver tinsel. Sometimes I don't use any. This one I'm not going to do any. I just want the. Uh, this one's a really simplistic. Just orangey gold rib and this orangey looking through the mirror of uh, the magnifier um there's orangey gold mirror um use by it that's all the color i want and all the the uh attraction i want in this one so i'm just gonna give that a bit of a just a loose tie then i'm gonna yeah see that's the it's the only issue you gotta watch out with goose by it that it can split like that right sometimes so we'll see, we'll see if I can get it looking decent and then we'll, uh, it's gonna get covered anyway. We'll see. Yeah, that's not bad. That little bump there, that little break there, I'll get that cleaned up with, with, the, with the UV resin. <clears throat> so now it's just a little whip finish. Then I always take, I don't know if you guys have seen this before, but I always take my little little Revlon little tweezer here. I hold my nano silk really tight and then I'll get the by it and I'll get as close as I can. And I'll just rip it. And then I'll do the same thing here. Again, this is my old age and big, big hands. So now I'll just clean that up a little bit and if there's a little bit there don't worry again I can burn it out I can pick it out you just don't want to build up too much of a of a head right so three turn whip nice and tight tiny bit of the orange right in the eye there but I can too bad yeah I'm not the biggest fan of that that gill on your side because if the buy it but you can see that side's even it's quite a bit better right but okay so <clears throat> Gulf Thinman let me get rid of that magnifier and this is just gonna be for the head for now I could have built a little tiny bit bigger of a head but I didn't want a big, really big one on this. Just for now, let's get that, get that shape there. And I'm gonna zap that with my UV light. And look at that, look at how that lights up, eh? <clears throat> Those uh, 
those emperor fly goose bites man oh man i've had these for quite a while so there's and the I haven't been putting them away, so it's, they're, this this one here is a little bit brittle. I should throw these away and get the other pack out, but they're phenomenal. Like how how well the color stands out. It's crazy. So now I'm just going to give it a really light, really light coat of UV resin on the whole body. Make sure you get that tail section that that extra hot spot wraps because as I said this stuff's pretty pretty light and it will will break even with that on that first fish right so there you go <clears throat> it's looking pretty decent make sure that's staying where I want it yep hit that with a UV light and see that that uh, little piece of goose by it that was a problem that looked ugly all cleaned up it's not perfect but Again, I don't think the fish are going to be sitting there hovering in the water for half an hour checking out if there's a bump or a split or whatever in your goose by it. So, but uh, it uh, it works. So that's that. Now I could, if I wanted to, I could coat this with uh, just a really thin coat of Sally's or something. But this one turned out really nice. I like it. Um, a lot of times I'll do the coating of the Sally's for two reasons. One, just to make sure it doesn't have any tackiness. Um, but more than anything, you won't always with these with these resins because they're thicker. You'll you'll have if you take a look under a microscope or under this, you'll have tiny little holes in there. That Sally Hansen's it's so thin it'll get in there and it'll soak right into those little holes and fill them. Right, so it's just just another added protection. But I mean you don't really need it. And like I said, sometimes up top here in uh let's see if i can do this with my in this area here in this area right here um i'll put a piece of silver t hollow tinsel or whatever just to give it another little hot spot a little flash spot um but uh yeah that's it uh yeah it's my uh, i i again i'm bad with names but uh, i'll call this my little goldie so okay so, well, like I said, really simple pattern. Um, I really like, I love the color that this stuff brings, this this uh, mirror tinsel, this antique gold. Um, it is, it just brings a really, really nice color. Now, I could have gone with a, uh, um, a yellow or a gold or a, even a silver or a red piece of really thin, like 0.1 mil wire and, and wrapped beside that and just given it an extra little, do I have one that did that? I can't, can't remember if I did that. Yeah, there. You see, that one's got that right beside it. It's got that extra little little extra rib there, right? So it just depends on uh, on the look you're going for. Again, me being me, I like having multiple different ones. So there's that one. There's that one. I have a bunch of different ones in my box. Just that little who knows, right? So, okay. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you did, thumbs up, please. If you subscribed, right on. If you haven't please consider doing so spread the word spread the word spread the word um, i'm slowly building up a bunch of materials here i've got a a little bag going of uh of uh, some hens products and some zemperfly products and and um, um yeah i'm going to be giving that away uh when i hit 2000 subscribers which is a little bit of ways but but uh i don't know I've, i think i've gained about 200 in the last month so and uh it's been picking up pretty pretty quick here so should be a couple more months three months maybe something like that and we'll be doing another giveaway so Alrighty, tie lines everybody.